going to talk about uh, snowflakes, lying liars who lies, the first temple. Holy shit. This is fucking insane. What is wrong with these people? These pens Nancy Pelosi used to sign the articles and she gave them out to colleagues. Wow, they look like bullets. Oh my God. They're advocating violence. These fucking liberals are gone nuts. Holy shit. He wasn't the only one to say this. Also, Paul Joseph Watson jumping in on this. Paul Joseph Watson, Nancy Pelosi signed the articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump with pens that look like bullets as she and other Democrats laughed. <laughs> They're threatening the president. Fucking violent lives. But what they did was they took, the, they took this blurry ass picture, I guess, because they're lying liars. And uh, this is what the actual pens look like. Does that look like a bullet to anybody? They look like fucking pens. They're just fucking pins. Yeah, if you blur them out and you're dishonest about it, I guess they might look like bullets if you tell people that. But holy shit, you people are just trying to manufacture controversy. But it works, you know. They get tens of thousands of likes for this bullshit. They're able to feed into their red meat of their narratives. And uh, look, another example of this, Jack Piso shit Bick posting this like it's real straight white males this movie is not for you november 9th and then december 16th why are straight white males refusing to see this movie oh my god they want it both ways they're literally telling straight white males not to see this movie and then they're complaining straight white males are not seeing this movie <gasps> and of course all the goddamn chuds in his audience believe this is real you know many straight white females didn't watch it either but of course it's fake they just photoshop this shit and they post fake shit all the time because reality doesn't matter to these people Never does, never will. Speaking of Tim Pool, since we're talking about Tim Pool, here he is playing a game where the object of the game is to kill social justice. Tuning in, this is, this game is called, this game will make you hate, I guess. So yeah, he's killing all these social justice warriors, feminists, and people holding signs for, you know, eat the rich and whatnot. And uh, the comment on this is exactly right from the serves. Pretty sure if Sam Cedar had a gaming channel where he LARPed around killing Turning Points USA attendees, it would be the subject of a 10-part temple expose. And it would. Imagine if there was a game where you were killing Trump supporters. And let me just say right off the bat, folks, I don't have any problem with Temple playing this game. My point is that if it were the shoe were on the other foot, he would be bitching about this. He would be saying, oh my God, look how violent the left is. They've gone nuts. But it's just the double standard these people always fucking have. You know, they're incredible fucking snowflakes when it's happening to them. But when it when they're doing it, it's uh it's completely different. It's always the way. Hypocrites who are hypocritical.